What is up, everyone? Emperor Freed here with a actual tourney like uh, VOD. I guess I'm doing this kind of live at the moment. I'm not live on Twitch, but I am like recording my gameplay as like it's happening. I'm just kind of waiting for it. The tournament to open. It's uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right now, where the tournament's gonna start. Oh, there we go. Uh, funny enough, the tournament organizers had me losing to some guy named Inexus, so I'm not too sure who he is. But, uh, yeah, that's who they have me losing against. Uh, I guess I just haven't played the game for that much of time. I guess I just played in tournaments. Or maybe they just didn't even look up my ELO. And they just did them randomly, the, like, brackets. I wonder if uh, this guy, Lewis, is going to actually uh, check in. There's a couple of people that I'm going to, like, wonder if they check in. It, it, like, if, like, anime fan doesn't check in, I might just top 16 and, like, just roll with it. But if he does, uh, that's going to be definitely not a very fun match. Uh, he plays sword, which is just a weapon I do not like fighting at all. Uh, on the other side, if I lose to uh, a Nexus, which it has to be losing to. Um, let's see, who would I have to fight in loser's brackets? I think I have a completely different bracket. Um, I would, damn, it just has me straight, like not even getting top 32, just a little bit unsettling. But I'd have to fight Fred Fredberger for top 32, and then Snipe Socks for top eight, if it works out like that. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to beat a Nexus. Pretty sure. <laughs> but who knows, I might just straight up take a, an L, like off rip. Um, yeah, I'm happy I get to record a video. It's the weekend, so I actually have a bit of free time. I was playing Destiny before this, and I thought I was just going to end up playing Destiny for the rest of the day, but there was a tourney, and I'm like, I could play in this and make a video out of it, because Ranked is uber dead. Like, everybody's just waiting for the new update to drop with the new rank so that they can go and try to get it. But like ranked as it is now is like actually uber dead. Um, I'm just gonna warm up. I haven't played Brawl in a couple of days. When I was on, I was like sparring Santi, and that was just not going well. I'm lagging a little bit. He's like teleporting. Hopefully, I don't get too much of that in game. That's another thing. Even though like I want to win the tournament, because who doesn't want to win a tournament? I'm not completely like gonna like cry if I like don't win because at the end of the day I just I play this game for fun I try to be competitive but it, like yeah playing for fun is where it's at I don't know though to some people that might um like mean just winning every single game I know that used to be like my thought process on that I'd be like oh I'm playing for fun and then I start winning I'm like, okay, this is really fun. And then I start losing. I'm like, oh, this is not fun anymore. But uh, he, I think he could have killed me. I don't think there was an escape route there. If he had ground pounded. Uh, messed up the input. I'm too rusty on it. Other than that, I, didn't, I will say that the, the BCX patch, which is the one we're playing on right now, it's kind of mid, I'm not going to lie. They left bow unnerved, uh, untouched, I mean. Sword is untouched, guns are untouched. Um, oh wow, that hit me. I thought I would dodge through it. A lot of weapons I feel like should have gotten nerfed just were, were left as is. Which is like, it's whatever. I do think I'll be attending BCX though. I just, you know, money. Because traveling is expensive. But I think it'd be pretty fun. At BCX, I get to meet everyone. Uh, this guy's fiending. Oh, oh. I thought he'd like dodge in off rip. That still caught me. Dare me. He didn't want to dare for some reason. I was a delay recovery by lag and just did delay and sick thinking it'd catch him. Alright, let's see here. Then my opponent DQ. No, he has not DQ'd. He's gonna get DQ'd in three seconds. 
Actually, think about it. This is like having this page open in the background might actually be causing my lag because like that website is horrible. Smash.gg or oh, well, start.gg now. It's like really, really bad. It's never been good, but like it's just extra bad. Let me like go into my phone and just do it from there because then I can actually close like my browser, which is just filled with stuff that's just going to make me lag. Um, also, I think I'll be playing in the NSYNC tournament later as well, which that should be fun. It should be a lot more competitive than this one. It just happens to be just because the people that are hosting it are just like well known compared to this TFC tournament. Uh, that's not to say that I won't have hard matches in this tournament because everyone can beat you. I feel like this is something that people just don't understand. I can take a loss to anyone in this game. Um, but people are just so quick to just ego everybody. Alright, I'm gonna go check in against Enexus. This should uh this should be pretty interesting. A lot of people DQ'd, but there was all first round people. So it's like the people who DQ'd didn't really matter because they're like golds and stuff like that. But uh we'll see how this goes. Uh, I am completely expecting anime fan to check in and I'll have like to struggle against fighting that guy The last time I fought him in tournament, I think the score was 3-2 He like switched to Val. He was like on a different character and he just switched to Val and just placed toward the entire set And he was just able to like outweight me out and stuff like that um, Yeah, I just don't particularly do well against waiting people that wait me out. I'm fairly impatient at this game which I feel like just comes with me having the mentality of I just want to rush in because rushing in is fun. But that's not how you're supposed to play this game, at least not competitively. I mean, not even Sandstorm plays like that. Oh, he actually did check in in Nexus. So I go ahead and uh, leave this experimental lobby. You know, take an L there. But if I cared about like my experimental fucking rank, I'd be like doomed as a player. By the looks of it, I have to fight Sprite, which I think I fought him before, and he played Jiro and just hit me a bunch of times. But uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. My uh, first tourney match is gonna be against a Nexus, who is on uh, Hatori. Uh, I'm probably gonna deafen. Well, not deafen. I'll just mute myself because. I don't want to start commentating over my tournament matches and just lose because of that. It's happened before. So yeah, I'll catch you guys when I finish this set. Three, two, one, brawl!
two wins. Three, two, one, brawl! Okay, so I took a win against a Nexus. Um, as you guys will see in the recording, I was lagging a lot, a lot of lag, all right? I was just teleporting everywhere, so I don't know how to fix that. That is just straight the problem with my college Wi-Fi provider. I'll try to maybe just, um, God, I don't even know, reset my game. I'll try to reset my game or reset my computer. So I'm gonna cut the recording here and then continue back when I'm uh, back in up and running. All right, and I am back. I have reset my computer. It's uh, probably just gonna look instant for you guys though, cause editing powers. Um, I'm just waiting right now for Anime Fan to check in if he does check in. Um, let's play a match while I wait. But hopefully this solves my lag issue. Because, yeah, no, that was that was pretty bad. Um, some notes about that match, just at the top of my head. Hattori is, like, 
really good into cross. At least I think so. Her weapons are just really good into beating gauntlets. And then they also do pretty good into guns. And like sword, I feel like that's really good into guns. But other people will say that apparently guns beat sword. I just don't believe it, but you know, everyone's entitled to their opinion, whether it be correct or wrong. Um, yeah, I just genuinely foresee the future of being all spear, all bow, and just people mashing Kaya. I don't know why you wouldn't play Kaya in this meta. Maybe it's because you just queue into a bunch of spear players. I don't know why you wouldn't play this legend. Nobody plays this legend, the one he's on right now. I keep like side sigging, trying to predict his dodge in. A lot of people, when they like get sent off stage, just immediately dodge in. That's like a pretty good thing to read. Oh, that's on me. You should never jump after the spear player and lights you. Oh, I try to try to catch him. I just rushed in on the encounter. I should have waited a bit. Waiting a little bit before everything is like the best way to actually like engage with people. Because if you like rush in, people will like hit you right away. Or you'll get caught out by some stupid thing. Oh, I'm lagging. Well, I spoke too soon. I thought I'd be good on my connection. But if this is the case then. My tournament prospects are looking bad. I did it again, I jumped out of hit stun. I know eventually he'd do that. This platform is just not allowing for much good gameplay, all right? Recovery. I got speared. Oh, that was close. There you go. Yeah, no, I like figured eventually he'd just try to keep hitting me with it. I got like an email from my school. I got a good check. Yeah, I do that. I do that way too much. I like go on my phone mid match if it's like an experimental game and just check what messages I've gotten. It's a really not good habit. It's like breaks attention. I did not know he was gonna dodge down. I just like, I like reading dodge down. I feel like it's a dodge a lot of people do. It's like always been a dodge a lot of people do. Player two wins. GG's King. All right, somehow I'm in top 16. It's pretty neat. Uh, currently waiting for Sprite versus Truck Stop. And uh, whoever wins that match I fight. If I happen to win that match, then I'm probably mostly 95% sure I fight Simba, who's another good player, who I like spar quite often. He is also just a demon on sword, dude. Absolutely goaded sword player. Uh, hmm. I always like be like thinking, uh, what if I like just messed up and like my my audio is not recording and I'm like, oh my god I've been talking to nobody. Well, I kind of am talking to nobody <laughs> Oh actually speaker I should do those battle pass challenges. All right, I'm season like 67 rank or something on this battle pass Because I just don't do the challenges. Oh Have I been recognized? I don't know, I don't have that many subs. Although one of my videos does have like a thousand views or something insane like that. Of me just like playing rank, which I did not think I'd get that many views, but like the algorithm like blessed me or something. Alright, nice. That killed. I'm surprised it killed, but it did. But yeah, no, I'm like... I don't know. People recognize me if they're like... In the pro server or something like NSIG. Or like from a sparring server, but I don't think they'd really know who I am. Like based off my YouTube. I don't got that much YouTube credibility. I'm alive.
That is also a horrible habit of mashing side light on gauntlets. It's like not good. Don't do it. I don't know how I get away with this so much. It's because the move is like really, really good. But like I shouldn't be getting away with how much times I like do the move. I know you'd ground pound or NSIG, so that's why I did Nair there. The end of this type of connection. Oh, I tried to GCD light him. Did not work out. I'm alive. Okay. That was scary, yo. He had. He could have just killed me, honestly. I'm not too sure what he's doing. <laughs> Random BS go. <laughs> Alright, I might have to cut this from the video if he starts BMing. Up, yo. Is he on PC? No, he's on console. I'll play another match against him. Why not? Oh, he like put us in the friendly twos queue? Bet. I'm with it. This game mode is great. Um, famously said by Sandstorm, who I guess everyone knows. He's like, yeah, guys, I just grinded friendly twos and I became rank one. This is just not the truth, all right? Don't listen to that guy. He's not speaking facts. Oh, that king guy just fought. I think. Uh, he might be a different person. Um, do not listen to Sandstorm's advice on playing friendly twos to get better, all right? It's not good. Maybe if you're like gold, you can improve a little bit by playing Final Twos, but you just don't want to main this mode to get better. And you know why I know this? It's because Sandstorm used to be a ranked grinder, all right? Absolute ranked demon. He had like, at one point, like 1,300 ranked games played in one season. I just like, how the hell are you going to do that and then play a bunch of friendly twos? Oh, who knows? Maybe he incorporated that with friendly twos, but I'm just not seeing it. This guy's going insano mode. He didn't die to that. Good job, teammate, but that's not going to kill him. Oh, I think I have a match. You don't want to DQ this late into the tourney, you know? I'm fighting Sprite, who should be playing Jiro. I don't think he'd play guitars into me, truthfully. I'm higher seated than him. Neat. I get to make the room, and I get to ban first. But it's a best of three, so... In my opinion, he's going to play Jiro the whole time. But I'm not particularly scared about fighting Jiro. I don't like fighting Jiro because who likes fighting Scythe? Like genuinely, who likes fighting Scythe? Or Sword. You know, my my Achilles heels. Dodge down. I need to dodge down. I try to do something cool. That guy got folded like an omelet. Sadly, I'm a bit too good to be getting hit by scythe strings like that. I'm not immune to it. But you also just won't catch me getting hit by like the super extensions. I thought he like dodged down. Oh, more recovery does it. Alrighty. Let's go make a custom room. Four, three, eight. 
1970. We're gonna play the super cool 1v1 mode. <sighs> I feel like I shouldn't cut out those, like, warm-up games. I don't feel like there's much of a reason to. Like, I get it's, like, a tournament VOD, but it's more just, like, a really long video to me. This guy's probably, like, trying to get me DQ'd or something, bro. Like, free is taking forever. <laughs> bro, people are making fun of other people. They just say that people are just going to boost the Valhalla rank. Which I guess is true. And boosting is going to be quite a bit of a problem, but not much you can do at the end of the day. When you don't got to pay for the game, people can just boost over and over again. There's not like no ban spread unless you like boost to rank one. I guess he's thinking hard about his choice of legends. Because he mains guitars. But, like, I was beating up his guitars. Oh, there it is. There it is. You are gonna go to Fortress of Lions. I'm calling it. Anyway, I'm gonna deafen now. So, or mute. Because I gotta focus up.
two, one, crawl! Three, two, one, crawl!
Wow, that was a, uh, a very nerve-wracking set. Um, yeah, dude, I, oh my god. I uh, I told myself after I lost that game that I, I knew I could beat him. I knew 100% I could beat him. I just had to uh, play confidently, and I would win. Uh, that's literally what I told myself. Game three, I'm like, just play confident, play smart, and you'll win. And that's what happened. Very, very nerve-wracking, though, playing this game. Uh, I'm not very good with uh, the nerves. I'm better than I was before, truthfully. But, oh, God, it just kills me. They just super kill me. Okay, so there's like some random in this tournament named Bubble Guppies that is like beating people up. He's beating up Simba, which I kind of find funny. <sighs> but yeah. I'm happy I, uh, I beat Sprite. See here, just load up the bracket on my phone. I don't know if you guys can like perceive it in my voice, but that's so nerve wracking. Super, super nerve wracking playing in tournament always. Uh, most of it is just because, like, when you know you're down one, you're like, oh, dude, I can only lose one more match before it's all over. But with this win, I guaranteed myself top eight, which is. Really cool, really cool. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see that. And we report game three, which I won. So yeah, top eight. I gotta fight Simba first round, which uh, be pretty tough unless this bubble guppy person wins, which uh, he might actually. He might. The set is one one, so. A win is definitely possible. Uh, for some reason, I don't see Simba on my friends. Oh, there he is. So, their match is over. I have no clue who won, though. Because Simba's not in, uh, in a lobby, so... Their match is for sure over. Uh, it'd be pretty interesting, though. I do want to fight this Bubble Guppy guy who took a game off Simba. I think that'd be pretty interesting. Uh, <laughs> oh, he actually won! Wow, surprised. Well, I guess I'll find out now who uh, this Bubble Guppy person is. Who's taking matches off of Simba. I heard Simba's having a bad day. I mean, this guy's just crazy. He's apparently 2,500. I've just never heard of him. He probably like came up on the scene when I was like taking my break. Because of college. In any case, I can immediately check in. And uh, he's making the lobby. Because he's higher seated than me, apparently. So, if I win this, then I have to fight Yuichi Bao. And, uh, for top three. Uh, and that's not necessarily the matchup I was thinking I'd have to play. But, you know, Yuichi Bao's a really good player as well. Alright, future bubble. I now understand who this is. <laughs> I don't blame Simba for losing. Look at that stat line. It's Kaya. All right. I'm a mute. Wish me luck. Three, two, one, brawl.
two, one, brawl! All right, so that's the end of uh, that set. I am not too sure how Simba lost it, but I can kind of think of a reason why it's really tough to fight those weapons on like Val. I'm assuming Simba used like Val or something to fight Bo and uh, 
and Spear, just Kai in general is tough. Uh, I was able to actually get a read on the guy. And uh, I saw that he like wouldn't punish me at all for like dodging in or like moving in after he hit me with bow. So I just kept going off of that. And then at the end there, I got... It, it was it was tough at the end to kill him. He just wouldn't die. I landed the end sig on him, which definitely helped. And then I was able to read his movement and land a down sig. And then I knew he had no more jumps, but I wasn't confident in actually going off stage to try to kill him. So I just waited for him on stage for him to like panic dodge. And I was able to uh, to beat him. So now I'm in winner's finals. I'm guaranteed top three, which is pretty cool. Um, it has me losing to, to Goichi Bao, which is, I can see it. That guy's really good at the game. Uh, he plays an annoying character. I mean, I, he might lock in Queen Nai against me, but he mains Lin Fei. He, like, switches around a lot. But who knows? Maybe Nerex just beats him, and then I don't need to worry about that. But, yeah, no, dude, Nerex... I don't know if Nerex could beat uh, Guichi, but it'd, be, it'd definitely be pretty funny to see <laughs> I think so anyway but uh but yeah no I uh I definitely won that was fun um I say fun but it really wasn't dude I was just trying to kill him for like 30 minutes he wasn't like running away super hard which was nice but I think that's mostly because I was able to space him pretty good uh let's see here it says my friend is on Terraria Mod Loader, even though he's right behind me asleep, which is hilarious. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a screenshot of him. Uh, he's trying Terraria in his sleep. Simply. Oh, somebody just DM me saying good shit beating uh beating the bubble guy. Which thank you. Um yeah, no, this guy just DM me. Um it was it was actually I don't know. It'll you'll see it in the video. Um well y'all already have seen it. As this is the commentary after me beating him. Uh let's see here. Has the Nerex set progressed at all? Uh, I did not assume this would be finished anytime soon. Yeah, Guichi Bao is one game one, which is like, it's all right. I'm probably gonna end up having to fight him anyways. Oh, I got like a couple people just watching my uh, my tourney run, unironically. Even though like my lobbies are locked, they can like see that I'm in bracket and they just see I'm like winning. <laughs> I'm just gonna try to keep uh, this momentum going. Pressure playing pretty good today, even with the lag, uh, unfortunate lag. Thankfully, I was able to like stop the the lag that I got against the Nexus, dude. That was horrible. I know there's a prize pool for this tournament, and I'm already guaranteed some money. Which is neat, but I know it's gonna take three years to arrive in my bank account because BMG takes it forever to pay out. Um, but yeah, this is way three eons for my money. Uh, I don't know what the split is. I know it's a hundred dollars, so I'm imagining first gets fifty, and second like thirty, and third twenty. Yep, that's math. I can maths. I don't know why I went for that instinct. He like left immediately. I thought he jumped pretty fast though. So. That was supposed to look cool, alright? He didn't fast fall on top of me that time. Oh, I gotta lab that out. I was like whiffing that a lot. Oguichi Bell won the set. Alright. Guess that's who I'm fighting.
it's weird because against Goichi, but like I want to play patient, but it leads to me getting like bodied by uh, me being way too patient. He just lands a lot of hits on me for me being passive. But I don't know. I'll try my best. Obviously, that's what the, the only thing I can do is try my best. There's no cheating, all right. Download special K mid match. The day they make that a true combo is the day Cody Travis comes back to playing one seriously. All right, bro, you gotta like approach me. He's like, he's like doing the the pro player tag of like looking like he's approaching, but really he's just moving in place. All right, so press the five. All right, well, I'm gonna try my hardest. Two seven seven. I'm like having a stroke, like typing in this code. What is Cody Travis doing in free for all? Anyway, I'm a deafen. Uh, wish me luck.
At the end there, I'm like, I'm just gonna push my advantage state, cause I'm like, okay, I hit him with, uh, I like an end light or something. I'm like, I'm just gonna satellite immediately, but nine dex guitars just pushed me right through it. Uh, yeah, I don't, that's a really really tough matchup. Um, just in general for my character, holy, he can just hold me at bay with nine dex. And it also just does not help that uh, he just didn't want to play the game. He would like stay on the other side of the map the entire time. Which is like, eh, like, come on, that's not a very fun way to play the game. But if it works for him, it works for him, I suppose. Uh, every time I would approach, he just fucked dodge and like, dare, etc. He never actually like, approach first. I think he approached first one time and I caught him with a down sig. So, yeah, no, that type of matchup, pff, I get railed, dude. Absolutely fucked. But, uh, yeah, now I gotta wait three eons for uh, my last match. Well, or I, unless I win and then I gotta rematch uh, 
gooey chiba, which doesn't sound very fun or appetizing, but hey, it is what it is, right? I'm probably going to cut the recording here because it's going to uh, uh, take like three eons. Actually, three eons for me to get a match. So yeah, I'll catch you guys when I uh, finally get a match. Okay, I am back. It literally took an hour for me to get back into a match. Um, what I will say is that I tried to like play some matches with Orion because Orion is pretty good into guitars, but uh, I was failing pretty horribly. So I'm going to keep playing cross and then, you know, hopefully I can adapt. Maybe I do some changes. But overall, I'm pretty content already. I have third. All right. Gonna fight truck stop burrito. Let's see how this goes.
three, two, one, brawl!
Okay, so I'm recording my outro now. I was actually super disappointed I lost. I shouldn't have lost to that guy in general. I literally lost because game three, I got hit by the dumbest thing ever. Like, this whole interaction was so stupid. Okay, he hits me here, sure. But then, why does the recovery send me down? And then he reads dodge in? Like, what? Ah, it was such a stupid... Like, every X player and their dad dares again there. All of them dare again there. That's why I literally did a, a, a something, what you call it, a dodge through. And then he just hits me with that. And that's, that's how that game went. And then game four... I, I tried to play it out, but uh, unfortunately, I just can't play Gauntz into that weapon. That's why I lost this game. I played too much Gauntlets. I should have just played Guns the entire set. I should have played Gauntlets every set. I mean, Guns. There's no reason for me to play Gauntlets at all in this entire set. He literally struggles against that weapon more. But I decided I can win with Gauntlets in some stupid way in my mind. This doesn't kill because he's on Olgrim. And I just have no good way to kill on this character, but that's whatever. I should have saw the recovery there, but I, I felt like he was just going to delay and I was going to get beat out just like that. Then I jump and I eat a bunch of hits. I try to grump on him here. It whiffs. I get hit again, dude. Ah, I lost all my health to playing gauntlets. Literally, why did I play that weapon in that set? There was no reason for me to do that. In any case, that's my tournament run. I got third. I should have gotten second at the very least, but I just could not apparently seal the deal against that guy. It's really disheartening. But yeah, I have a whole nother tournament at six, so I gotta mentally reset, and I might upload that one. I don't know. Anyways, that's all. Bye.